This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are here to analyze the biggest sentiment stories. And we have a guest for you as well. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my very amazing co anchor with me, Ife Omai, and Ife Oluwa. Come again, come again. You're what? what? You're what? Good. You're who? I take you back. That's good. <laughs> How's it going? It's been a good day. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Ife, what's wrong mm. with you? Wait, why? Why? Not? I feel like your vibe has dropped. How? I don't know. You're like more excited than this before. Behind the scene? Yeah. Was I? No. Okay. <laughs> right. I'll keep my opinions on myself. Better. But oh, moving yeah. on, Whiskey um, releases a second single titled No Stress of his uh, much expected and anticipated album Made in Lagos. Um, he also reveals that Made in Lagos will have 14 tracks. That's a lot of tracks. Yeah, but it's not more than Fireboy's track, so yeah. It's, it's cool. not more than Bonner Boy's track, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm just saying it's a lot, guys. It's not yeah, so from, from <laughs> what I told you, like... No, but you're saying that we're not sure. And, so and that's a lot of share, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. I like this type of coincidence, because just yesterday we were talking about we don't know um, the number of tracks that will be on Made in Lagos. And, and I was 14. telling you that over 400 it was, songs... It was speculated 17, actually. Mm. Yeah, and over 400 songs are streamlined to 14. That's a lot. So. Where did you get that from? Okay, your inside source is not. No, we need to make it clear that it's not whiskey that said it to you. In case. <laughs> okay, so um, I think it's uh, amazing that um, he has finally given us a date because the last time he it did not amazing. give. He did not give us a date. We only mm. said okay, we we'll drop on his but birthday. Did he give us something on his story though? On his birth. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he gave you a smile. No? Yeah, he gave you something on his birthday. Right. So you only said it was going to really, but this one, he told you made in Lagos. Mm -hmm. But before you know it, now it's made in Lagos. No, there's a pattern on it, guys. It's still, it's done. It's done. See, so I, I, I know that he has given dates and oh yeah, but it's still, I'm not, I'm not going until to I hold see on to it, it until, yeah, until I, I open. Not even see until I open and it's streaming and all the songs are playing. Yeah. Like, Okay, yeah. Not cool. the one but that I tell you, not available in your, your country. country. <laughs> <laughs> I've been jamming to no stress, like, since it the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's okay. I don't know. I, I think I think for listening to Smile and No Stress, I think I already have a vibe of what the album is going to feel like. Not. Except it's going to switch it up at some point. I hope so. But it, no, no, I think the, the, these two are actually good. I think they are good songs. Um, I mean, to be honest, can... he's giving us lyrics. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he for is. So for, he is. Yeah. For someone who they say is a sound man. <laughs> yeah, he's giving us lyrics. He's, yeah. He is. He is between <laughs> that. But I, and the lyrics for this one was quite explicit yeah. and mm. quite, you know, mm, I kind of like that. But I don't know. I'm, I, I you think want him to, to switch it up? I want him to just wow me. Have they, him, I, I, I think people are yet. still expecting the whiskey to give you a pack room more. No, he's not going to do that anymore. I don't think he is. She was something think, better, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So that is about to shock somebody. But let's be going. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> let's wait till well, 15th I'll, of October I'll soon be here. And I'll, I'll be here too. <laughs> I will be shocked if he does that though. I, I know he's still in there somewhere. So he doesn't so. do Afrobeats anymore? Yeah, of course, this is still Afrobeats. Okay. Which, but not the up up dancing club type of alphabet now does you are my african <laughs> <laughs> it's more mature with his music uh -huh. i would say hey. and, um, yes um i think uh, this is actually good news and but it's going to be crazy october October. is also a um, better time yes david o's album is also dropping in october so man i think like and both of them have been bought in it since we we can remember they have no no like when it musically they don't right. even have to do it personally the whiskey dfc and david fc yes, will not let yes. them be great mm, you know yes. they still bought it i even saw a tweet where so. you're saying um um a, bit, a, a better time october was his own made in Lagos yeah. October? Who is likely to, to postpone? postpone. Mm. Mm. Well, what do you think it is? of course, it feels like, like whiskey, but it feels like he he's ready this time. He has to be. It's been yeah. a while. I don't yeah. think any one of them would postpone because um I would I, I don't see a David O posing a threat to whiskey, and I do not see a whiskey posing a threat to David O. I think they're both on the same level. No, that's in, that's in question terms of, in wasn't terms in terms of posing threat. It's a, in terms of what we've known and what we've seen, and it's just like you putting a Kanye 
and a who now a jay-z or a drake mm. when kanye tells you i'm dropping it today and jay-z tells you i'm dropping it today who would you who would likely say you know what no it's something mm. happened we you know it's kanye you, know, you would you know, choose you know anyway. there's usually um, amongst artists right if i'm if you're an artist i'm an artist you want to drop your album i want to drop my album it's yours is and it's next week mine is also next week mm. we can have a dialogue and if say, i understand can you, you perfectly you i'm just saying that your... question was not yeah. based on that so i'm um, no i'm just trying to say that that could also happen that so could also be a reason because it was just banter and agenda according to Twitter right. people. Yeah. To so me, I feel sales too can be affected because I, I just don't see either of them. I think so too. I don't think it's a good idea for it to be too close, close to each, to each other. other. I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. But either no, way, it's risky than David though. They'll pull it off. They'll pull it. I would be, be worried if anything. it was a David Doe and somebody else, mm. yeah, or if it was a whiskey and so, or, and everybody but else. Fireboy, I mean, Bonaboy drops like a few days after Fire. Is it Fireboy after Bonaboy or which one? Who dropped first? Exactly. I think it was Apollo. Apollo dropped first before Bonaboy, yes. and I think Apollo still did amazingly well. Yeah, yeah, still don't doing you think well. it would have done better if mm. um, Twice the Soul I, I was think, moved I think forward. Fireboy now has his own fan base, and his fan base are very his different. Fan base are from different this and one, strong uh, as well. So I don't think Bonaboy. Me, I'm sure even close, his management will tell you I mean, it affected us some type of way. Okay, yeah. If you are right. <laughs> Moving yes, on. Thank you. Um, Kanye West <laughs> is in a Twitter battle with record label owners over ownership of Masters as he shares a video of him urinating on his Grammy Award. In a series of tweets, um, West called out Universal and Sony while comparing the music industry to slave ship. He tweeted saying he is the only person who can speak on this because he made multi billions outside of music and that no musician make billions inside of music. He's determined to change this. What, I think this is the cutest. This is the cutest of all his tweets. Yeah, Kim is my lawyer. Mm. <laughs> the thing is, um, what is actually fighting for is very valid. Mm. It's a good fight. It's a fight <laughs> that <laughs> that a lot of artists want fought for them. Gucci Mane too said something about his record Taylor label, Swift, I yeah. think Atlantic sure. Records, and then he, he had to take it back after he settled with them and all that. So it's it's not it's not new that a lot of artists have problems with some of the clauses and their contract with record labels mm -hmm. and how it is a slave ship and how they sign endless deals for lots of years mm -hmm. right so it's been a valid argument for a long but pissing on your grammy though Dude. that is extreme do you understand that is disrespectful not only to the grammy um award right it's also disrespectful to your colleagues to everyone who's ever won a grammy mm -hmm. to everyone who holds it in high esteem to everyone who has ever framed the grammy Gramophone, oh, right? And it's to everyone who is hoping to, to win, win, win our Grammy, and our whiskey. It's very disrespectful. Oh, Rudka. So, oh, Rudka. so there, mm. there are better ways to fight a battle, but when you know, when you fight a battle in certain ways, you lose the 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 the, the quality of your message. And I think it lost us when it did that. But was his message strong? Is his message admissible? Is his message valid? Yes, it is. Mm. I get what you're saying. I totally agree. But then I don't agree with the parts where he lost us totally. I don't think he lost me in the fight because I He's I think Kanye him. is that person who feels like if he doesn't go the extra mile um, things will not be done and from the tweets in fact I'm not done reading mm. from everything he put out you realize that this guy feels like it is his mission on earth to change his slave manship mm. that he thinks is going on in the or he knows is going on in the um, music industry um i think this is a global fight right now we've had our own issues with nigeria and all that so I, it's fair to say it's a global fight so i think he's very passionate about it but with his personality and his mindset and the way he thinks he probably feels that if he doesn't push because Taylor Swift had had this kind of conversation mm. and how did it end everybody uh, calm down yourself right even social media this girl's own is too much at some point that was the conversation that was going on with Taylor mm. Swift Guess and what? this was the same thing she was fighting for as well mm. so um what I'm hoping would happen I mean that might not happen now because of what you said it, for him going as far as pissing on the Grammy people might not want to um, associate with it but what I would have loved to see if he did not go that far was other people who have been affected actually um, joining the conversation and to see if there is something that can be done because at the end of the day you put pen to paper you signed it nobody held your hand yeah I'm, I'm, so it's it's still it's I'm a dicey sure situation what it is with Kanye. Yeah. i don't know if it's his health like the mental health issue mm -hmm. or he's just his ego is just too big but sometimes i feel like he is the extreme opposite of what he claims he's fighting so um you see him complaining about like let's say the slavery or whatever that we've been slaves for 600 years but then you go to the extreme and become a puppet for the conservatives i think the same for these ones as well you have he has good intentions 
I think. I, I, I really don't even, honestly speaking, I don't believe he has any good intentions. He just likes his ego being rocked. He likes the idea of being, a sli being like the person that sees what other people cannot see and he wants to help you. A lot of people are like that. Where you, and then what you do is you just trap yourself in a bunch of conspiracy theories and make up all these things that are not really that factual and things like that. I mean, to put up your universal manager's contacts online and say that everybody should go yeah. contact. Yeah, that like, was, who do you I think, think you awesome. are? I exactly. Not even, not even the Grammys. Not the Grammys. Really who do you yeah. think you number. are to do that? Like, you're, you're complaining that somebody's no, oppressing it's, it's someone, but you're doing the exact same thing in a different, in a, in a different um, type of way and stuff. So for me, he's, he's ego-driven. He sees himself as more relevant than he genuinely is. And I can't tell whether or not it is just his personality or because he has a mental issue. So sometimes, sometimes I, I feel like I'm criticizing too much because I, I don't know the source of why is but somebody needs to get a hold of Kanye West. He needs human <laughs> intervention, like ASAP. Hmm. It's, why, it's his wife's job. Kim is his lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> <James>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it's time for a quick break. When we come back, we have more for you.